Hi there, it's Diane the Nursing Geek. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to December and a quick wrap up of the first week of December. I haven't touched my nano project. I needed a break from it. I am going to get back to it because I would like to get to the end of this draft by the end of December. So I've just been doing little advent Drabble stuff. Haven't gotten any Drabbles posted that were based on original indie story, indie books yet, though I am still planning to do that. What I have managed to do is actual official in December stuff. But in order to be able to keep track of that, I decided I wanted to have a spread in my bullet journal. So let's take a look at how that is getting set up. All right, so yes, there is a digital um, playing square for in December, but I wanted to have a spread in my bullet journal because why not? So here goes. Okay, so pretty simple, didn't get too decorative, didn't try to make it too perfect because then I would spend way too much time on it and I try not to do that because my spreads are supposed to be functional, not just focusing on making them pretty. But I did use some stickers from uh, Planning by K's, Planning by K, Planning with K, uh, whichever, but her sticker set that had uh, the cozy Cozy Winter, I think it was called. I don't know. I'll link it below. Um, and so these are all the boxes. I do not have any expectation that I can do a coverall, which is why I figured I need to keep track of every square that something could fit in, and then I can figure out where I can manage a bingo as I go. Let's start... Though I'm going to number these because that'll make it much easier to keep track over here rather than using the whole name. Because even putting them in the boxes by the end, you could see I was getting tired and abbreviating and my already not so hot uh, handwriting was going to pieces. The other thing over here on the checklist, the title of the author, what squares it can qualify for, and then did I review it for Amazon or Goodreads or both. So I can just X off the little box there. So let me number these real quick. Okay, there we go. So nice and simple. I have an easy way to keep track. If I were better with digital art, I suppose I could figure out an, a fun way to do it with the digital card that's given, but I'm going to have enough fun just marking that up to put it up in like a, as a graphic in the videos and things so I'm not messing with that <laughs> at the moment this will do nicely for a quick little checklist so there's that I've managed to review two indie books so far and each of them could count for at least two possibly three squares 
Um, and I'm reading another. So we'll get that one reviewed within the next couple days. For books that I've already reviewed on Amazon, what I'm doing is then adding a review on Goodreads since you can do either for in December. And if you don't know what I mean by in December, it's a it's sort of an annual thing to encourage reviewing indie authors. Uh, and there's a whole game associated with it if you want to play for a prize or if you want to just, you know, review lots of indie authors, then you can just do that. I'll link the stuff down below that's related to that and possibly put a card somewhere. That's it for now, though. I am hoping to do the In December writing tag and the In December reading tag. Those both look like a lot of fun. And the person who created In December, Megan Tennant, made some really cool transition cards um, that will make it... I'm not sure the word is easy, but it'll make it fun to edit up those. I thought I was going to try to do one of them tonight, and no, today was a really long day, so that's not happening. This is therefore a pretty quick wrap up, and probably the next one will be one of those tags, I think. Yeah, that's it for now. Are you doing in December? If so, I'd really love to hear about it. If not, what are you doing so far this December? Are you continuing on your nano project if you did NaNoWriMo? Are you just writing something else altogether? What you got going on? Let me know in comments. And until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.